Congratulations on purchasing your Rambo bike. Here are a few things you should know before heading out on your first ride. This tutorial applies to multiple Rambo bikes, those being the Rambo Savage, Rider, Pursuit, and Roamer. All these bikes are a little different, but the process is still the same. So for today, we're gonna to be using our Rambo Roamer to show you what to do before you head out on your first ride. First, let's turn on the battery. To do so, locate the button on the right side of the battery and turn it to the on position. At this time, you can check the charge on your battery by pushing the small button on the left side of the battery. If fully charged, there should be one red bar and three green bars. Once the battery is fully charged, you can power up the bike with the LCD screen. To do this, press and hold the power button until the display turns on. The plus and minus buttons will enable you to adjust your power assist levels on your Rambo bike. Tapping the plus button will add power assist, and then tapping the minus button will lower the power assist. You have up to five different power modes, and five being the highest. You can change the brightness on your LCD screen by tapping the brightness button, and then you can also change the display modes by tapping the I button. If you're riding your bike and you come to a complete stop, your power assist level will return to zero after 10 seconds. In pedal assist modes 1 through 5, you can use the throttle on the right side of the handlebars to help propel you along. Also on the right side of the handlebars, you'll find your shifter. This bike has 8 gears, with 8 being the highest gear and 1st being the lowest gear. Low gears are good for climbing hills and high gears are good for higher speeds. To shift gears in your bike, stop pedaling momentarily and roll the grip shifter until you hear an audible click. If you're pedaling too fast and there isn't enough resistance, shift into a higher gear by rolling the grip shifter forwards. And if you're pedaling too slow, shift into a lower gear by rolling the grip shifter backwards. Before adjusting your seat post, keep in mind that there is a minimum insertion length of 4 inches. You should adjust your seat post height so your knee is almost locked out. To do this, you can sit while stationary and pedal backwards. To maximize comfort while riding, you'll want to adjust your handlebars in a way that feels most natural and practical. This may require adjusting your handlebars using a 4mm Allen wrench. Ideally, you want your wrists to be straight, not too low, not too high, and your elbows should have a slight bend. Before riding your bike, you should check your tire pressure. You may need to add more air. Ideal air pressure can vary depending on terrain, but 7 to 15 PSI is a good rule of thumb. Now let's start the break and burn procedure. In a controlled and clean environment, and preferably on pavement, get the bike up to a good speed around 8 to 10 miles per hour. Firmly and evenly apply the front brake until the bike comes to an almost complete stop. Repeat this process 20 times for the front brake and then 20 times for the rear brake. This must be done separately to ensure a good brake burn in. It's important to know about proper battery maintenance. It's a good practice to charge up your battery after each ride, especially if you're riding relatively soon. Don't leave your charger on for more than eight hours. If you're going to be storing your battery, having it at 70 to 80% charge is ideal. When storing your battery long or short term, it should be in a dry space between 45 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything above or below this is considered extreme and not healthy for battery life. Also, do not leave your battery on your bike when transporting it outside your vehicle. Now that you're familiar with your bike, you're ready to take it for its first ride. Congratulations again on purchasing your Rambo bike.